Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know at 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news of some more realistic talk from Chinese policymakers. But first, this morning, the minutes of the June Fed meeting were released. Some committee members were concerned investors may be growing too complacent about the economic outlook, and the central bank should be on the lookout for excessive risk-taking. These comments saw the US dollar weaken. They confirmed bond buying will end on schedule in October. They also began detailing how they plan to ease the American economy out of an era of loose monetary policy. And they seemed near agreement on a three-pronged strategy to manage interest rates in the future. In China, inflation cooled somewhat in June is now at 2.3%. But authorities there are finding it increasingly difficult to grow and free up at the same time. Overnight, they admitted they are in no position to pull back from their long-standing currency peg policies. They also said their government's 7.5% economic growth target isn't a flaw, suggesting Beijing may be accepting that slower growth is their future. On Wall Street, st stocks are rallying again, gaining back a lot of the recent sell-off. Yields on benchmark US Treasury 10-year bonds rose today and are now at 2.57%. The oil price fell yet again and the US price is threatening $102 a barrel, Brent $108 a barrel. The experts continue to be confounded by surging U.S. energy production. Gold was slightly higher overnight, now at $1,325 an ounce. Oh, and by the way, we also start today with a New Zealand dollar in record territory again. We're at 88.1 U.S. cents. The post-float record high is 88.4. At 93.7 Australian cents, and the TWI is 81.9, extending the run of daily all-time highs. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.